Hey dudes, Crazy here, welcome back to Marvel's Avengers. Today is Saturday, September 26th, and I'm really happy to announce that I literally just had one of my best days in the brand new Mega Hive. Or well, actually, it's the second day since obviously this is the second reset, but I'm also super happy to announce that almost everybody I'm seeing is reporting a huge increase in rewards from completing these new Mega Hives, to the point that I'm seeing some players getting up to three exotics from one single single run. And that's what I'm gonna cover here in this video, I wanna cover some of the recent changes and everything that has been happening in the past, well, week. And let me know down below if you also want me to start kinda like a mini series here on this channel, like let's just say weekend update on what's been happening in Marvel's Avengers for the past week, just so you stay updated with the latest news and information and kinda know what to expect from the game, assuming if you're gonna jump into it. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video at any point, it would be super awesome if you have to like on it and let's begin with some of these details that I'm gonna talk about. Of course starting with the most recent couple of patches we had update 1.30 which was the massive one but even that didn't manage to fix too many of the bugs that we had and all of that was up until yesterday when update 1.31 which I already covered actually did manage to turn some things around to the point that I think that the game right now in its current state and following the yesterday's update is in its best shape since its release almost a month ago so if you're planning to play this weekend this is likely going to be the best time to do so and it can only improve from this point on since crystal dynamics obviously um, seems to be quite hard at work at bringing all of these bug fixes of course this doesn't mean that everything is perfect there are still some bugs in the game you've likely noticed that you probably didn't get the polycoron yet even though that was listed as one of the compensations in yesterday's patch fix well if you're not seeing that there's a couple of things that you can try if you still have the problem so if you're still not seeing these, maybe try to close the application and first make sure that update 1.08 on the PS4 or update 1.3.1 on the other platforms is applied to your current installation. From this point on, just the simple fact of restarting the game, I mean closing and opening it up, is going to force the game to give you the Polychoron and the Uru that you need. And otherwise, if that still doesn't work, there is one other option, which is to go in, complete a fast mission, something like a drop zone and once you come back you should be able to see that appearing on your screen and in your inventory and I would also suggest maybe holding off a little bit on it and not spend it right away even though it sounds tempting to invest all of that into your exotic artifacts you might want to hold off just in case the Hawkeye update might introduce brand new exotic artifacts that might be even stronger or who knows maybe they will introduce minor artifacts of legendary quality that might also require some of that polycore on because now I'm looking at my character and I have over 550 of these and I literally have no reason to spend any of it so at some point they will most likely introduce some kind of sink that will make us spend all of it and will require more farming in the near future which also brings us to the next point I really enjoy the fact that Captain America finally has the ability to be useful during these puzzles especially the ones involving smashing doors now according to the latest patch he is able to go ahead and destroy any of these doors even using his shield charge throw proving us once again why he is the best there is like what other character can smash through these doors with range abilities like if you know any of them let me know down below maybe I'm just missing them I think Kamala Khan might be able to do so but I'm not 100% sure I'm um, speaking of farming I talked about farming in the beginning of the video and yes this is the best time to do so despite some of the nerfs in the previous week we now have a much more defined and clear view of what the end game actually is and what you should be farming in Marvel's Avengers starting with update 1.30 and of course they finally fixed the villain sectors which you should go into and do right now I am finally able to report that after two weeks of these being completely broken I can finally pick them off go ahead and even complete them and get the polychoron and the DNA keys from them now the only other bug that I'm seeing in regards to these villain sectors is the fact that some people seem to have them disappear completely from their maps if they pick a different kind of mission and even complete it instead of going straight into the villain sector itself so in this case I would suggest maybe go ahead and complete that villain sector as soon as you pick it off from the faction NPC just in case this bug might happen to you as well but with that being said and done let's talk about one of the most exciting changes that I've seen since the game has launched and that is the fact that the mega 
5 endgame activity that was added last week is now finally super worth to complete. To the point that, as I've said in the beginning of the video, you might even get a chance to get several exotics from just completing one Mega Hive, which is of course something that you can only do once per week. But I can report that at the very bare minimum, you will get at least a handful of legendaries from just completing it, as well as the 8th one in the sequence right there. And yes, for this week, unfortunately, I was a little bit unlucky and I only got legendaries. A couple of them were actually quite useful, so I integrated them in my build. But I'm seeing a lot of players reporting that they got up to 3 exotics from just playing it on challenge 2. And by the way, there's no reason for you to complete it on challenge 4 unless you really have a really great party setup or maybe you just like a challenge. Because it's not going to influence that much the types of drops that you're getting at the end of it. I think that the one thing that matters the most is to just finish it with 5 stars and that is pretty much it. As long as you're at least challenge 2, you are going to have a good chance at getting the best rewards possible. And I will say this, the Mega Hives are now definitely worth it. If you haven't completed them yet, well you still have until next week to complete them, but I would suggest going ahead and doing it since it is most definitely worth it. It takes about an hour to complete it with a decent build and a decent party setup and you're gonna get some legendaries along the way too, including a lot of crafting materials. But yeah, let me know down below, especially if you already finished the Mega Hive for this week, what items did you get as end drops? Like, did you get only legendaries or did you get a lot of these exotics? Like, how it happened in many of the cases I'm seeing online. I'm seeing a lot of people with a ton of these to the point that I'm a little bit jealous because I didn't get as many, but you know what? I'm gonna take it. I still got showered in some pretty good loots and I'm gonna probably continue doing these for the foreseeable future unless there's a better method coming up online. And I think that generally speaking we could all agree that this should be the general direction that Crystal Dynamics should take with the loot and loot drops in general. Like they should definitely shower their players in high-end legendary loot and above given the fact that there is enough RNG involved into creating builds as it is. So maybe if they want to go with this route they should add more ways to get more legendaries to increase the chance so that you can create a proper build. Either that or keep the current drop rates but introduce a way to reroll on the stats. Maybe a recalibration machine like the one in the Division 2, that would be super cool and that would definitely save you a lot of headaches when it comes to building a proper build and then also going in the highest challenge content. But this is it, what I have to report for today, of course the game is heading into a good direction, there's also a ton of content ahead of us but I'm gonna talk about that in a different kind of video. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this at any point, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.